Well, great. So hello, everyone. Um, welcome to our webinar with the California State well, University Northridge. Great. Um, so hello, everyone. My name is Karen Botero, and I'm pleased to be hosting this webinar on Representing Viva Mundo. Today, we are joined by Boris, once again, the Outreach and International Program Manager at CSUM, and we are going to talk about frequently asked questions about the studying in, at CSUM in Los Angeles, California. So we really hope you enjoy this presentation, and of course, if you have any questions, please do not hesitate to ask on the Q&A box um, here at the bottom of the screen, and we will go back to them at the end of the presentation. Now, I would like to extend a warm welcome to Boris. Boris, it's really nice to have you here once again. Perfect. Uh, yeah, thank you so much, Karen. Thank you so much for uh, having me and having CSUN present today to uh, students. Um, muito obrigado, muchas gracias, everyone who is joining us today. And I hope that you are doing well, you and your families. And uh, yeah, as Karen already mentioned, I'm the Outreach and International Programs Manager here at California State University, Northridge. And this is about frequently asked questions about studying in California. So the first question that you probably have, if you're not too familiar with CSUN is where are you located? And yep, we are located in LA, so in Los Angeles. So that's why you see the screen right here. Welcome to Los Angeles. Um, we are part of the California State University system. So if you have a second question, well, what is CSUN all about? And are you a public university? Yes, we are. We are actually part of the largest four-year public university system in the US. That's the California State University system, which has 23 different campuses throughout California. You can see some of them right here on this slide with their respective um, logos. Um, so yeah, um, all across the US and CSUN is actually, well, all across California and CSUN is actually uh, among the top three largest of those 23 different campuses with um, a student enrollment of close to 39,000 students who can study more than 140 different undergraduate majors and more than 100 different graduate majors. So if your question is, what can you study at CSUN? The answer is a lot. It's very comprehensive. So there are a lot of different subjects. Um, business is very popular. We do have a lot of STEM degrees. Uh, we do also have a lot of degrees in humanities. Of course, we do have English, English literature. So there's a lot of different things that you can study. Uh, and we even have our own study abroad program. So if you would like to study here at CSUN for one or two semesters, uh, and we also do have our own intensive English program as well. So uh, yeah, a lot of different things that you can do. Uh, I myself, I'm right now in the office. So um, I'm here if I were to, um, you know, stop um, blurring my background, you would actually see my office right here with the palm trees in the background. But I kind of figured it's a nice view anyhow that I have here as a background. So uh, we do have 2,000 international students from more than 100 different countries. So if you may have a question or if you may be a little bit concerned about, hey, is it easy to make friends here at CSUN? Yes, it's super easy. Would I have any issues as a Spanish speaker or as a Portuguese speaker to communicate? No, absolutely not. Uh, there are a lot of students who do speak those languages. And actually, our staff, um, we do speak those languages as well. Um, so our team, we have someone from um, originally from Sao Paulo. We have another, another team member from Argentina. I myself am from Germany. So we're very international, and we're always happy to help you out. Speaking of our campus and student life, uh, it's very vibrant. So there are a lot of different things that you can do. Um, here on our campus, uh, you can join more than 300 clubs and organizations which are available to you as an international student. There's also an international student club. And uh, yeah, those clubs and organizations can literally be anything. So they can be uh, study based, they can be interest based, ho hobby based. So let's say you have um, a hobby such as playing chess, there's a chess club. If you have a certain sport that you play, there is a sports club typically who um, you know, basically allows you to play that sport with other CSUN students. 
Uh, and if you happen to have an interest and, and that club is or that organization is not yet in existence, you can also go ahead and found that club and meet other students who have that similar interest. Um, last but not least, of course, we also do have fraternities and sororities who are active on our campus. Um, now, if your question is, hey, what can I do on campus otherwise? So great, I can join organizations, I can join student clubs. What else is there for me to do on our campus? Well, we do have a great student recreation center on our campus where you can socialize and work out together. Um, you can attend spin classes, you can attend yoga. There's a big recreational swimming pool right next to the Student Recreation Center. Um, that's that building, by the way, that you can see here on, on this slide. It's about 10 years old, so fairly young, and it has an indoor track ring. It also has a climbing wall, so if you're into climbing uh, or if you want to try something new, a new sport, it's a great place where you could do that. Uh, and even better, you can do that together with your friends and the friends that you will be making. Um, also, and I see there's a chat, which is great. Okay, perfect, awesome. Thank you, Karen. Um, and yeah, so quickly, if you have any questions, feel free to use the chat function here, but you can also um, just wait until the end of pre uh, the presentation and Karen then will collect your questions and ask me um, anything that I may have missed. Um, so once you're, you know, once you went to the gym and you were exhausted or you're a little stressed and you need some relaxation, you can also hop right next door to our Oasis Wellness Center, which is almost like a little spa that we have available to our students here on campus. You can get a massage there. You can um, take a nap. You can take yoga classes. You can meditate. They do have nutritional advice. So if you want to clean up your eating and they also offer yoga classes. So again, that place is almost like a little spa. I always compare it to almost like a hotel spa where you can go to relax and to de-stress. Then also we do have on campus, if you're not feeling well, if your question might be, hey, what happens if I get sick? We do have our own student health center on campus, which is a great place for you to go if you, let's say, have a cold and you just want to see what that is. Um, you can definitely do so. There's medical staff in attendance. And if it's something more serious, they can refer you to the next hospital or the next urgent care room. So all of that is available um, as well to our students at no additional cost. And then the Matador Advisement Hub, that is where you can go and get academic help, especially if you're an undergraduate student. Um, so if you were studying um, a bachelor's degree and you don't know what kind of classes you need to take, they will help you. And they have experience with international students. They have their own international advisement hub even in there. So you'll have your international student advisor who can help you select the right classes and courses. All right. Student housing, that's always a big question I'm getting. Hey, do you offer on-campus student housing? Yes, we do. And that on-campus student housing that we have at CSUN is not mandatory. That means even if you come to CSUN as a first-time freshman, that means you haven't studied before at all, and you begin your student career, career at CSUN, uh, that doesn't mean that you have to stay in on-campus housing, if you find something in the surrounding communities, if you find a place close to campus that you can stay in, you can also do that. But of course, on-campus housing is very convenient and it's available to students uh, and it requires, it's very safe too, it requires a key card to gain access to your um, university or student housing building. So it's, it's a cool place and it's typically a shared option. So if you are okay with sharing a room with another student, that's typically the most economical um, option available. And typically four students share a two bedroom apartment. So two students per bedroom. And then you have a living room, fully furnished Wi-Fi, cable TV, all of that is available. Laundry and parking facilities are um, accessible. And then of course you also do have resident support staff. There is a big dining hall and a big community center where you can play uh, ping pong against other students. Uh, I think they also even have a PlayStation uh, available uh, as well. All right. Um, I got one question right here in the chat and, and thank you. Yes, there are, um, there is um, psychological support available. So if you encounter any mental um, anxiety or any mental stress, 
we do offer um, that option to our students as well. So um, therapy and a, a health line, if you are not um, feeling well and if you need someone to talk to, um, those services are definitely uh, made available to our students. Um, cost of living, um, that's another question that I'm getting. So thank you for those questions. How much is the cost of living at the moment in the US and in Los Angeles? Um, well, in LA, it's, does take a little bit of money to live because it's one of the more expensive cities in the United States. Um, overall, we estimate that it takes about $35,000 as an undergraduate student to um, live and study at CSUN. So if you get your bachelor's degree for master's students, that cost of living is typically $1,000 less. So it's about $34,000, but that's what you can budget. And that includes everything, tuition, cost of living, um, general cost of living, housing, health insurance, all of that. So that's typically what you would be looking at for uh, a year in Los Angeles at CSUN. Um, it's somewhat more affordable than other universities we have here in Southern California. But yeah, I understand it's still quite a bit of money. So just keep that in mind. All right. Um, another question that I often get is, hey, do you have any famous students, anybody that I know that went to CSUN? Well, we do have quite a few. And there's actually a long list on Wikipedia if you go and look for CSUN alumni. Um, there is a long list of them. And I just picked a couple that I think are more recognizable. Eva Longoria uh, went to CSUN. Um, she's, um, I don't know if any of you know Desperate Housewives. She used to be an actress there. She still is an actress, but also now a political activist. Uh, Alison Hannigan, How I Met Your Mother, also an actress. Sergey uh, Tankian, the um, lead singer of System of a Down. And then Doug Emhoff, who is Kamala Harris's husband, who is Kamala Harris, our current vice president in the US. So he also went to CSUN. So I think that's kind of cool just to give you an idea. Uh, if you want to know more, you can just go online and look for CSUN alumni. Um, so yeah, that's also something that, um, you know, is kind of interesting for you to know. All right, while we're talking, I got another question. Do you offer an orientation or welcome week to get to know the campus? Yes, we do. We do actually have a mandatory orientation um, for international students here on campus. And that includes a campus tour and of course what to expect and documentation that you would have to uh, keep in mind. So all of that is taken care of and um, it's an automatic process. Once you're admitted to CSUN, you will get that orientation invitation uh, as well as the email. So yeah, and if you for whatever reason should not be able to attend, there's also typically a follow-up orientation or at least a virtual option to inform you about anything that you may have missed. Um, can I stay there after I get my degree to work? So um, I will actually, I have a slide on that. So let me answer that question. Let me get back to that question in a second. Right here, perfect. Um, so that slide was right there. That's great. We do have our own career center here at CSUN. So uh, yeah, you can definitely, if you are interested in uh, internship or work opportunities, I highly recommend you to go to our career center um, and you can basically connect to our alumni network there and our alumni, we graduate thousands of students each year. And of course they go on to work for reputable companies in, within Los Angeles, within Southern California. And uh, it's just great to make that connection and to see if there are any opportunities out there. They can also help you with your resume. They can also help you with interview tips. And they even operate a system within CSUN called Handshake, where you can send in an application or let's say a job application for the jobs that are available on campus. So there are on-campus student jobs available and international students quite often uh, take these uh, on-campus jobs because as an international student, you cannot work off campus, but you can work on campus. It's a visa regulation. These jobs typically pay minimum wage, which is right now in California, about $16 per hour, and you can work for up to 20 hours per week. Um, so that's definitely something you could look into and get assistance that way. In terms of internship and staying in the US in order to work, that really depends on the degree uh, and whether or not you're interested in programs such as um, optional practical training, OPT. Uh, CSUN can help with those resources and guide you. We do have an office on campus called the International Student Exchange Center, 
So long story short, yes, there are resources and there are opportunities to do that, but it also depends a little bit on the degree that you are intending to uh, study to see what type of, um, you know, what the process is and what the chances are to find an employer who would be able to, um, you know, sponsor you in that sense. All right. Um, we have seen international students who did complete internships at, for example, Walt Disney, Google, Warner Brothers, Tesla. So that's a good thing about LA, right? You will find pretty much any company here. Um, so lots and lots and lots of international global companies either are based in Los Angeles or at least do have a, have a side office here in Los Angeles. So definitely a great place to start your career or at least to gain some um, you know, hands-on experience through internships. A couple of other things you would receive um, or just you know, an overview. Of course, you'll get your own student idea. You can attend university events. We have them frequently, typically also even at the beginning of the semester where CSUN, our associated students, which is basically almost like a student union. They do organize events on campus and uh, make sure that you know what's out there. Um, you can go there, you will see, you know, student clubs who will introduce themselves. Um, there is, um, you know, sororities, fraternities who introduce themselves, and then also other events uh, like a farmer's market that typically take place uh, throughout the semester. Uh, and it's a great place for you to, you know, get an idea of what CSUN is about and opportunities that are, that are available to you. So all of that is definitely available. Let me see how there is a room for research projects. Okay. Yeah, I will um, get to that in a second, um, Sharon. So I will um, get back to that question once I talk a little bit more about the admissions process um, and sp specifically for research projects. It's a very particular question that would more pertain to um, graduate degrees, so, so to master degrees. All right. Um, quickly, what you can study here as well is our intensive English program, just in case if you are not meeting CSUN's general admission requirements in terms of English, we can help you with that. It has five different start dates um, throughout the year, and it offers conditional admission to our degree-seeking programs. Uh, in order to attend this program, you should be at least 18, and uh, you should have completed high school. It also can help you to prepare for tests like TOEFL or IELTS. Um, yeah, and it's uh, also offers free tutoring, which I think is great. Um, and here is the tuition and fee. So you're looking for eight weeks at around everything included, a little more than $7,000 per um, eight weeks. Uh, we also do offer what I mentioned before, a semester at CSUN program. That's a program if you're interested to study for up to two semesters at our institution. Uh, and then complete your degree, let's say, in your home country, um, you will get an official CSUN transcript. Uh, minimum GPA requirement would be 2.0, which is about a C average, and you should be at least 18, and you should have graduated high school. It's also a great opportunity if you are currently, let's say, in your last year of high school, and you don't quite know yet what you want to do, um, just to take a gap year. And this is a great program to take a gap year and to get the American um, experience, um, college experience here in Los Angeles. Um, we do offer a lot that you can study. So we have eight different academic colleges here at CSUN and approximately each semester we have 9,000 different classes. So 9,000 different classes, as you can imagine, it's a lot. Um, like I said, business, STEM, engineering, computer science, humanities, um, political science, psychology, biology, all kinds of things you can study here at CSUN. Um, so yeah, and as a semester at CSUN student, you have the option to kind of pick and choose what you would like to study as long as you qualify for that class. Um, you know, let's say you just graduated from high school, you don't necessarily want to jump into a high level engineering class. Uh, you kind of have to meet some prerequisites for certain classes. And I think that's kind of uh, logical. Um, cost for the uh, semester at CSUN, the tuition is about $7,200 each semester. Um, so just in case if you're interested in that program. Now, I will talk a little bit more about our regular degree seeking um, admissions. So this is freshmen. So this is basically our freshman admissions for students who do not have any university experience yet. And let me double check here when I circle back to Sharon's question, um, what kind of extracurricular 
activities. Could you please send a list of the main academic programs? Yes, I can. And are there any scholarships? Yes, I'll get to that too. Okay, perfect. Um, so a couple of questions. I'll get to all of them in due time, so bear with me. Thank you. Um, so firstly, admission requirements. So let's say you don't have any university experience and you want to start at CSUN uh, with your bachelor's degree. That's what we call a first-time freshman. So you just graduated high school and you want to get into CSUN. What you would have to bring to the table is a 3.0 GPA in your high school graduation, high school transcript. So that's about a B average. So you should have fairly good grades. And you need to provide us with your English proficiency. So there can be a TOEFL score of 61, an IELTS score of 6.0, or a Duolingo score of 95. Now, for the, some of you who are familiar with the US system, some universities may ask for uh, something that's called the SAT or ACT. These are standardized entry level um, exams, if you will. Uh, entry exams, not entry level, but entry exams, you do not need those for CSUN. So as an international student, we do not require the SAT or ACT. They are optional. If you did take one in the past and you um, scored fairly well, please feel free to submit it. It will make your application stronger. But if you don't have one, no problem. Um, lastly, we use Cal State Apply as our application system. So here in the U.S., you will see a lot of universities who use Common App. CSUN uses Cal State Apply. Um, the CSU system, is, that's our internal application system. And the application fee is $70. So I'll just keep that in mind. Now, um, you can also transfer to CSUN as a transfer student. So you can, let's say, go to a community college in the U.S., and then transfer to CSUN and the credits that you accumulated. That's another option if you do that. The GPA goes down to 2.0. So that's in a C average. And we will not ask if you come from a domestic, so from a US institution, um, the English proficiency will not be required anymore because we assume that, you know, since you're already at a university here in the US or a community college, that um, your English is um, sufficient. You can also transfer to CSM as an international transfer. That means if you are studying currently, let's say, in, um, in, in, in Bogota, or if you're studying in Sao Paulo at a university and you want to get credit for the classes that you've taken, you want to finish your degree here at CSUN, you can also do that. However, if that's the case, please keep in mind that you will still have to provide us with your English proficiency exam. Uh, however, the GPA requirement will also go down to 2.0. So that's pretty much it in a um, high-level overview. Uh, for graduate applicants, it gets a little bit more complicated. And I know that Sharon had a question regarding research projects. Um, some research projects are available to typically more graduate students, uh, and it depends on the deg degree that you would like to study and what kind of options are available, let's say, let's say as a research assistant, if you're looking for something like that. Um, however, that is something that you would have to ask the respective department and see what the options are. Um, overall, in order to apply to our graduate programs, you would have to typically have a 2.5 GPA or higher and then fulfill any additional departmental requirement. Now, this is where it gets complicated. Graduate admission is a little bit more complicated than our undergraduate bachelor admission. So for master programs, each master program sets their own admission requirements. So that can be a little bit more tricky to make sure that you submit everything that you need. So please make sure to take a look at our degrees. And yes, I will share the link with an overview to our degrees um, afterwards. Um, but also, if you want to go ahead and um, you know put that into your search engine, it's CSUN degree programs. And that will bring you to an overview, a landing page where you can select either bachelor programs or graduate programs. And you can see all the different programs that we have. And then you can click on each link on each program and then even get more information about the respective program. English proficiency real quick for graduate is overall a TOEFL score of now 80. I need to correct the slide. So it's now 80, not 79. So 80 and IELTS is 6.5 or Duolingo is 105. Certain programs may ask um, a higher English proficiency score um, let's say if you want to study, study journalism, you have to have 
a fairly high level of English. That's typically an IELTS score of 7.0, but that's very selective and it really depends only on very, very certain graduate programs who would require that. Now I had another question, let me double check here that I'm not missing anything. So uh, answer live, what kind of extraterritorial? Yep, I'll circle back to that. Could you send, yep, I'll send you the list later. Are there any scholarships? Yes, so this is the slide right here. Um, so for scholarships and financial aid, we do have scholarships available to international students. They are listed on our website. You can also again, put into your search engine, CSUN International Scholarships, and we'll give you an overview. They vary in award from $1,000 per semester all the way up to uh, $10,000. So, um, you know, these are options that we have available. However, they are merit-based, and that means they're based on your merit in CSUN or your performance in CSUN courses and classes. So you, most of these scholarships are only accessible and you can apply to them once you are in your second year at CSUN. So that's one thing I'd like to point out. We do not have any pre-arrival um, scholarships, but we do also offer financial aid. So financial aid options. Um, so please make sure they're listed on that website. So again, CSUN International Scholarships, they also have an overview of what kind of international, uh, you know, what kind of financial aid is available to you. Uh, so please make sure to take a look and see what's feasible. Overall tuition here at CSUN is about $16,500 per year. So a little bit more than $8,000 per semester. As a bachelor student and as a master's student, it's about $5,600 per year. Uh, so a little less than $8,000 per semester. And that's tuition only. As I mentioned before, um, you know, cost of living. When I had that question earlier, what's the cost of living? So we estimate that's about $35,000 per year, everything included for an undergraduate bachelor student and about $34,000 per year as a master or graduate student. So just be mindful here. So that's, you know, the cost of living in Los Angeles is fairly high, uh, similar to New York, New York City or Seattle or other bigger cities here in the United States. Okay, let me see. So that was answered. Um, do, does the university offer advice in terms of, now let me first circle to, to those questions. So does the university offer advice in terms of visa applications? So we do have an international um, student exchange center that can help you uh, with some guidelines. It's called the you know IESC, International um, Exchange Student Center on campus at CSUN. They do have their own website. I'm happy to share the link uh, afterwards with Karen and we can distribute that to all of you so you have it. Um, so yeah, they can help you with that a little bit, but otherwise I would highly recommend if you need direct visa help because we cannot directly advise you on immigration matters when it comes to you know the interview or if you go to the US consulate for the visa interview. I would highly recommend see what kind of resources are available in your country. Uh, typically, there's an Education USA office that you might be able to uh, reach out to. Of course, you can also reach out to BMI, or you may also be able to reach out to um, you know, other um, companies that might be able to help you and uh, who potentially work with, um, with CSUN already and help you with that whole process. But CSUN itself, we cannot really help you directly with the um, with the visa process. We can answer general questions then which are on our website already. Um, but for exact visa help, uh, I first would highly recommend go to, you know, ask, reach out to BMI or reach out to Education USA and they typically can help you with that. Okay. Um, then let's see what else do we have. Okay, done, done, done. Okay, um, how many hours of classes are there per week? So that's a great that's a great question. It depends. It depends on how many hours you want to take. There is a visa requirement for you would be an F1 visa student. There's a minimal visa requirement that you would have to take at least um, 12 units per semester. 12 units, that's about four classes per semester. Most most students take five classes per semester in order to graduate within four years. So just to give you an idea, as a bachelor student, uh, it takes 120 units to graduate. 
So that typically comes down to um, 15 units per semester, which is usually about five classes. Uh, a typical class has about three units. Some classes do have less, some classes do have more. So it kind of depends on what you are comfortable with. If you want to take more classes, you can. Keep in mind that in, when, when you do take more classes, the tuition goes up a little bit because you typically pay by class. So the amount of classes that you take also then determines how high the tuition is. But the minimum class load that you have to have as an undergraduate student is 12 units. So it's typically around four classes per semester. Um, and as a graduate student, that class load is a little bit less. It's nine units per semester. So it's about three classes usually. Uh, reason why that is the case is graduate classes tend to be a little bit more work intensive and um, yeah, so that's why, why that is in place. And that's why you see also the difference between the master and uh, bachelor programs that $1,000 cost difference is just because you take less classes typically as a graduate student. Okay, so I hope that helped. And it was a long answer, but um, uh, yeah. And then, uh, so I answered the visa question right here. Uh, is there any application deadline we need to keep in mind? Yes, there is. Thank you for the reminder. So um, currently, um, right now in October, October is an interesting month because as of now, the application both for the spring 2023 semester for CSUN is still open, but also the application for the fall 2023 semester just opened. So right now you could basically go on to Cal State Apply and you could select CSUN, Cal State Northridge, and you could uh, either apply to the spring 2023 semester or to the fall 2023 semester. Now, that's not always the case. So the spring semester application closes on October the 31st. So by the end of this month, two more weeks, and uh, you can no longer apply to the spring semester. It kind of makes sense. Uh, application for the spring semester opens August the 1st. For the fall semester, application just opened October the 1st. And you can apply all the way to May the 31st of next year to apply to that fall. To, so if you apply to fall 2023, you have all the way to May the 31st of next year to apply. And that start date is in August start date. Now, I highly recommend you submit your application no later than the end of April um, because you want to make sure that you have enough time for the visa interview and uh, to get all the documents in order. Okay. All right, perfect. Um, so that was it in terms of deadlines. Now, a couple of fun facts before I circle back again about the extracurricular uh, activities. Um, a few fun facts about CSUN. We do have a lot of filming going on in our campus. Our library is actually the Star Trek Academy in one of the most recent um, Star Trek movies. So it's kind of cool. And we do see filming on our campus all the time. We're 20 minutes away from Hollywood, so very centrally located. Um, we are 40 minutes away from the Los Angeles International Airport, so it's very easy to get to our campus, even internationally. Um, not so, you know, but when you're in LA, we're very centrally located, so it's kind of cool. So about 20 minutes to Hollywood, about 30 minutes to Santa Monica and to the Pacific Ocean. So uh, it's really nice. Um, we also, Maddie the Matador, that's our mascot. I know that uh, Matador does not translate too well. Um, but he's really friendly, I promise, and uh, it's always, you know, fun to see when he runs around campus in his costume. Uh, a lot of students always try to take a picture with him. And then we do have a lot of squirrels, which is uh, quite interesting. Sometimes you wouldn't expect that on a campus here in Southern California. That is an urban campus in the middle of the city. But yeah, we do have a lot of squirrels on our campus. And we even have a part of our campus that is basically looks like um, how the valley or how this area used to look like about 50 years ago. A lot of orange trees. You do have a duck pond there. So it's it's kind of cool. And I really like to go there and to relax. Uh, it's a cool place. It's kind of like, you know, a little park that we have available to our students on our campus. And then, of course, what else can you do? Extracurricular activities that goes a little bit into that. Uh, you can discover California, right? You can um, go on trips. San Francisco is about five hours driving distance. San Diego is about two hours away. Las Vegas, of course, is about four to five hours away. And then we have, uh, I'm going to say that that's driving distance. Um, of course, if you take, uh, if you fly, um, that's typically a one hour flight. 
Um, and then, of course, we do have a lot of national parks as well who are easily reachable here um, from Los Angeles, from Southern California. So it's really a cool area. Uh, I'm sure most of you know. Um, so yeah, definitely a lot of opportunities. Otherwise, in terms of extracurricular activities, I mentioned it at the very beginning of our presentation, we do have student clubs, student organizations that you can join on campus, more than 300. Uh, you can also work out with other CSUN students. We have a big gym. You can also go to what I call the little spa that we have available on our campus called the Oasis Wellness Center to relax. There, so there's a lot of different things that you can do uh, apart from going to classes here at CSUN. A uh, little reminder, our campus is a little bit bigger than Disneyland. Uh, speaking of Disneyland, that's also um, you know, in Southern California, so not too far away from our campus. That's about 90 minutes of driving distance. All right, last but not least, if you want to see a little bit more about our university, go to our YouTube channel at Cal State Northridge. We do have uh, a couple of videos there um, that are kind of cool that I can only recommend. Uh, a day as a matador would be one. Again, I know it's not an ideal translation, but it uh, just shows you how a student, um, basically, you know, a typical student, uh, student's day and how you start at the dorms and what you would experience throughout the day as a CSUN student uh, and gives you some great campus impressions. Otherwise, you can also find us on Instagram. You can find us on Twitter and you can also find us on TikTok. Uh, I myself, I'm not on TikTok. But um, yeah, uh, so I wouldn't be able to exactly tell you what the TikTok handle is, um, but it's typically otherwise at CSUN or at CSUN IPP. And that's how you would typically find us on at least Twitter, Insta uh, Instagram, uh, and then of course, Cal State Northridge for YouTube. Um, this is uh, pretty much it. This concludes our uh, presentation right here. This is again, just our library. So this is how our campus looks like again. Lots of palm trees, lots of sunshine. We're surrounded by mountains. It's a really, really cool place. 300 days of sunshine. Um, so it is quite nice and pleasant. Um, so this one was answered live. Let me see. How many months in advance do you recommend to start application process and to start studying in fall 2023? Uh, great question. I would recommend you start um, looking at least or defining what kind of program you want to study right now. And then I would submit my application probably um, around December or January, if you have a little bit of time to spare. Uh, and if that timeline works with you, otherwise, if you already have all your documents ready and you have your high school transcripts ready to go, um, you can submit your application you know, right now if you wanted to, um, to get an early admissions decision and to plan ahead and to make sure that you can book the right flights on time ahead of time. Um, and you know, look into housing accommodation and submit a housing application too. That's one quick thing um, that, I'd like to, that I'd like to mention is if you are interested in CSUN housing, you can also again search search engine of CSUN housing and then just see uh, what is available. But once you apply or have applied to CSUN, I would also at the same time, if you want to stay in on-campus housing, I would also at the same time apply to CSUN housing to make sure that you can secure yourself a spot because it's first serves, uh, it's first come first serves basis. So uh, the sooner you apply, the better and the higher the chance that you do have a housing spot. Okay. All right. I hope that helped. And then let me see. Uh, so you have any clubs I can join? Yes. Again, we do have over 300 clubs and uh, organizations. Let me go back to that slide real quick. Uh, that's all the way at the beginning. Bear with me uh, right here. So, yeah, that's the slide. So right here, we do have, um, you know, all the different clubs and organizations um, listed. So more than 300 clubs and organizations, but again, also the Student Recreation Center. Um, and we have soror sororities and fraternities that are active on our campus too. Um, also, if you want to um, know what exactly those clubs otherwise are, you can just um, go to our CSUN Associated Students webpage, where you can just look for CSUN Student Clubs, and it typically shows you uh, a little bit of an overview, and they can be sports clubs, they can be, um, you know, uh, hobby clubs, like a chess club, um, but they can also be a social cause club, so really what, whatever you're interested in.
Okay. And again, um, for research projects, there might be opportunities available to you, but again, it depends on the department and the degree that you're um, interested in studying. So um, you will kind of have to um, send out an email to the academic lead of each department, and that's very easy to do. Okay. All right. Um, let me show you real quick. Can you get a paid internship? Uh, it depends. Uh, I would first check paid internships. Um, if you have something or find something, I would first check that or cross-reference it with our International Student Exchange Center. They can help you with that and make sure that you're not breaking any rules if you get a paid internship. I've seen it happen, uh, but there are certain restrictions that are involved. Um, so just be mindful. Um, so yeah, I've seen it happening, but um, just to double check, you would have to, we have an office here on campus that you can ask. Okay. And again, for networking opportunities, um, right here, we do have our own career center. They can connect you with our alumni network. They can connect you with um, other students and help you with um, resume and uh, any type of questions that you might have, interview questions. They also do offer um, student job fairs and job fairs where they invite local employers. So it's kind of cool. It's definitely a place uh, that I would only recommend you um, to take a look at, okay? All right. Um, so last but not least, let me stop sharing. Um, let me see if there are any other questions so far. And while I'm waiting for any more questions, I'm just gonna show you real quick our degree website and how you can get there. Uh, so give me one moment. Okay, there we go. Here we go. Let me share this again. Whoop. Yeah, share my screen. There. So all I did to get to this website, this is for our undergraduate degrees. All I did is, oh, that's an archived, hold on, version. Let me run you through the process here. So what I did is I'm just looking for CSUN degree programs. And then it gives you already an, you know, an understanding and an idea. I would just click on the first one right here, um, the first link, and there you go. That's the updated one. And then it shows um, basically what kind of degrees and options we have available. So this is for undergraduate. Uh, you can do the same thing for graduate. You would just have to enter CSUN graduate degree programs will bring you to the overview. But um, yeah, this is basically all the different things that you can study. And I'll share this link um, with you as well in the chat, or I will have to ask Karen to share it um, in the chat because I can only send it to her. So yeah. So anyway, so that's how you would do that. Um, so very simple, but again, a lot of different things that you can study. Um, and here is just the overall overview. Average cost of living for an international student in Los Angeles, again, about $35,000 per year. Okay, so $35,000 per year. I know that's it's quite a bit of money. Um, so if you can work on campus um, and help a little bit with that, but yeah, it's still, a uh, significant amount of money. Uh, it's an investment into your future, um, but yeah, that's typically what you would experience here to study in Los Angeles for a year. All right, perfect. With that, I know we are closing in on our time limit. Um, thank you so much for answering or for asking all of your questions. I hope this helped. If you have any more questions, one of the great resources while I'm having this uh, right here um, up is our website csun.edu. This is how you can find us. We just redid our website. So now you have some uh, interesting videos here as well for current students, faculty, staff, academics, uh, admissions and financial aid. So all of that is available on our website. Um, if you want to search programs right here, uh, you know, that overview that I just showed you, you can also directly go to our regular website, click on undergraduate programs. If I do that, it brings up the majors um, right here that we have. It's a little more of an updated overview. I like the other one a little bit better, um, but you can also do that if you like, and you can do the same thing for uh, graduate programs here as well, if you're interested in master degrees and what is all available 
Um, so yeah, and you can select the college that you want to study at, if it's business, if it's engineering. So that helps you to narrow down your interests. All right, with that, I will stop sharing my screen. Thank you so much. Thank you, Karen, for organizing this. And uh, yeah, if you have any follow-up questions, please feel free to reach out to um, to Karen, to Viva Mondo, and uh, to BMI, and then uh, we'll be happy to um, to assist. Thank you. Well, great. Thank you, Boris, for your brilliant presentation. So that will be the end of our webinar. Uh, we invite all the people registered in this webinar and all the people who are watching us on our Facebook Live to visit the CZoom website. We just leave it there in the chat box. And that's it, of course. We invite you and we encourage you to visit the Viva Mundo website as well uh, if you want to find more information about the studies abroad. Once again, thank you, bodies, and thank you to all the attendees for listening. I hope to see you all soon and have a lovely night. Thank you. Thank you so much. Have a great night.